Yeah. It's more relaxing. It's not like I'm not practicing the shit out of stuff, I guess I tend to be less precise about certain things in the game. Well, I'm getting better at it. Well, I can't expect to get like as good as uh, of a run as yesterday all of a sudden. All the time, at least. Even Sean doesn't. <coughs> but I mean, if I was more careful at the barber, I would have been a completely fine run as well. That was a gold? What? <laughs> what? Excuse me, no. <laughs> the jump step was good, but it took me ages to get to the ga uh, to the hand. I think that's some kind of loading thing that can't be right. Well, I guess my first split is also kind of garbage. To be fair. Elizabeth's here in general. But yeah. Like, I know for a fact I will be miles ahead in the run. If I just get a few things right, like the hunter skip. Like, these splits are from a time. Before I actually started getting decent at the game, like I think that was one of the turning points where it somehow slightly got better, but I was still like very uncomfortable with many strats. So, yeah. That will be interesting. Like, that's a moment where I almost got to the 126 yesterday on any percent. Or was it on Wednesday? I don't remember. I think it was Wednesday. And uh, then I have a 128 as my PP on New Game Plus, which is weird. It doesn't make any sense. But, like, the sub one should be hella free. <laughs> It'd be like that though sometimes. 
I guess I'm actually... <laughs> I can accept that I'm way better at the game than I used to be and... One thing, the biggest difference is I never felt comfortable to do like a marathon run. And when I did my first one at the GDQ hotfix, honestly speaking I still didn't feel ready, but now I feel like way more comfortable to actually do one. So if ESA will be a thing and if I get like if a German like online TV thing. Uh, continues their speedrun format again with Corona being an issue right now. It will definitely be a very cool thing. Like I'm definitely looking forward to do like as many marathon runs as I can. But right now, sadly, like at least when it comes to any percent Foxy and Sean are better. Oh, I guess I could submit hard any percent or some meme like that. But nobody else would even dare to run it in a marathon because it's so painful. <laughs> Oh yeah, and also once the PS5 will be coming out, or... No, rather, whenever I can get one. Like, doing experimentations with 60 FPS and with an actual SSD. Even the SSD will save hours of my life <laughs> that I spent in the game. However, do you actually think they will... Imagine Bluepoint put out a 120 FPS patch and uh, Hydrus just goes quadruple speed. <laughs> imagine that shit. <laughs> Dude. Super jumps everywhere. No, 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 I think it will be just super jumps everywhere. The game would be like completely broken instantly. You can launch off Phaedra's leg directly to the head and insta kill it. Or some shit. Isn't that how it works? 120 FPS Phaedra, where you would just fly away because the side jumps are double the strength or some shit. I'm sure that's how it works. I mean, it sounds stupid, but then again, saying 60 FPS makes a major difference in the run also sounds stupid, but it's true. Oh, dude! Like, 60 FPS even, I could finally do the Phaedra launch in a boss rush. Gap closed. Then I will actually feel how much Shaw, uh, better Sean is, actually, which is still a lot better than I am, I guess. So I haven't hit a launch today. all belly today and the problem is it's not even the right animation to do the new stuff okay I guess it's all memes now this could actually be faster on the game plus to be fair if wonder would wouldn't shake as much 
Just stop it. Oh my. Ah. Okay, this is this time. I hate this so much. Well, I, I actually should have honestly gone for the IL way because in New Game Plus it's basically free. To be fair. But I didn't practice the launch recently. So it would have been also trash when I do it. Oh, it still, it still says any percent normal. Oh fuck, whatever. Let's pretend it's any percent normal and then claim world record if I get a 58 <laughs> IGT or some garbage like that. <laughs> yeah, I am proud of you, Hammer, but also Dirge HT1 cycle is the easiest of the three. Not gonna lie, I still mess it up sometimes, but uh, I'm never worried about hard dirge. Normal dirge is way more precise. It would be interesting if you did some like hard ILs. Dirge HT has the craziest of all potentials. Like imagine cancelling. Dude, like imagine doing the the thing they do in the task that you go up a sigil first, then do like all uh, cycle steps on the upper sigil, and then just jump down and cancel five steps in a row with the quick jump step. It would be so amazing, it would probably be like a sub 40. HD dirge or some crap like that. Well, not really, sub 45 maybe. But actually, who knows? It sounds hella fast, and I prefer the idea of it. This time I'll do rock boost. I will never betray rock boost again. Have you seen all the new tasks, Hammer, actually? There's like new PS2 ones for each Colossus. The Synovia one is also very interesting. Even though it's slower because there's no wacky jump or super jump. But the stabs on Synovia are amazing. Yeah, JK was definitely talking about that. The dirt one is amazing. Raki and I actually did like a reaction to all of them. <laughs> oh, the Gaius one. If you haven't seen the Gaius one, you should definitely. Because that shit was disgusting. It basically proves how headfirst Gaius is faster if you do certain things. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous.
so more subtle in his end, uh, in his new game plus, like she does a jump step on an idea. And he did the guy as they are, I think. I wonder why he actually lost time compared to Foxy's run. I haven't seen Foxy's run yet, but I don't think Foxy did those strikes. Probably an in-between thing. Oh yeah, wait, did he he didn't do the super jump, I think. That might be a thing. Yeah, that's actually a big difference. Yeah, no, I just want to get the run going. Don't feel like jump stat right now. I'm sorry, Amber. I definitely promise though, Hammer, if I ever do a solo marathon run, I will go for the jump step at least once. Say scuff, but that was perfect. <laughs> Whew. That was all right. I'll take that. time save. Holy shit. Landing on that thing in any percent is an actual time save. Dude, is that 30 seconds of time save? Almost. I think my... My avion was fine and my PB was like a decent wing drop but well I guess it was even better well then again my PP is trash so that will be a confidence boost but then again my PP no matter what PP is always trash that's how I look at the game I guess yeah.
decent forest. That probably already saves time. Will this ever work? Let's find out. Wow! Obviously it would work in the category, but I'm not complaining. Ah, that's garbage. I managed to mess it up anyway. Right? Sancho. Yeah, I'm just doing a meme category right now anyway with the new game plus, so I'm not worried. 20% didn't go too well, but this is fine so far. Honestly, Barba's back just works anywhere. For the most part. No, Hydras is a big one. I actually haven't managed to do a new game plus in a. L I did it once before, but that was ages ago, even before I PB'd. With my PB obviously being not that great. But like, if I managed to do the Hydras skip, that would save a ton of time. And would actually probably make me PB almost instantly. Because everything else, there's not much left to fail. Just like New Game Plus being the way it works. I mean, there's still stuff to fail, but nothing run breaking. No, I guess Phalanx you can't do the one cycle the usual way, but it's still easy enough with the one shots. Was this very satisfying to one shot hunters with one jump stab? So let's do this. The place is also pretty good. Keep in mind that that barber included skipping the cutscene instantly, so I saved 12 seconds on top of 30 seconds IGT if I remember correctly. Yes, you can. Lucky and I are only weird those who did it this way. If you look at the big race, it's also like me and everyone who got it on the different side. 
It absolutely doesn't matter, but at this point I'm more comfortable this way. It's kind of easier for me to look at the stamina bar for the urgent. Go like, yeah, that way as well. I also have a Havoc like toggle so it's always on because it makes some um, uh, any percent skips easier. Like on Bastion, for example, once the health and stamina of Wander appears, you can get going. Or like as a backup on Hydras, if you fail it the first time, you can wait for Hydras' health bar to appear. To like do the basically the IO skip. But it only works on second try. Oh, same for a bass run, to be fair. But that's like a way where you can make it so very percent skip some more like I else in a way. feels very refreshing after failing at the main categories because besides a few things that are difficult to 90% as well it like removes a lot of the difficulty out of the game in favor of just one-shotting everything Ah, this looks scuffed as hell. But it might work. It's alright. Yep, it's fine. Look at that, so satisfying. It was actually perfect in that way then, because I got the angle where Hydrus was actually the fastest he can be without a skip failing. That's why I didn't expect it, because usually when you get it first try, Hydrus is way farther behind the pillar. That'll save insane amounts of time. So now I can finally PB at this shit show category. So yeah, Bastard has another cool quality, if I get a first try, you one-shot him instantly. You could even just do the thing where you insta-jump-step his head, but I won't even go for that. And I think I might have done it second try because I don't remember knowing the first try setup back then I did this run. So I remember actually also trying the harpoons of Onkuro's lag to see if you can skip a sigil, but it doesn't work sadly. I wonder if doing the jump stabs actually does more damage. I don't think so, but that would be fun. It's 
So yeah, considering the Barba is actually way more of a time save because of the IGTM, probably two and a half minutes I have now. <coughs> Still a little while to go. I also don't remember the way I did the routing towards Kuro. So this might also save time out of nowhere. Might also not save time. That's how it is sometimes. Probably doing the air walk there is actually slower because you don't get onto the second part of the thing instantly. I wonder if going for an even lower arrow shot is worth it. Probably is honestly. Not if I mess it up though. That's a given. Maybe I can land on him. Close enough. I guess that just shows how much better I've gotten at the game since I last played it <laughs> in this category. It's also not the Queen's Sword, Sancho, it's the Dormant Sword. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. Yeah, hey, Stocky, it's New Game Plus, though. So it's all memes from here on out, especially since the last time I peeped in this category was way before I like, got better at it. Oh yeah, for sure. I actually bought the DLC and the European version of the game because for some reason I only owned the NA one before. Well, I didn't own it actually. But I. <laughs> For the longest time, I didn't even own the game while I was speedrunning it for a long time already because I borrowed it from brand new. But then I bought it myself because the New Game Plus IMG skip only works on the European version of the DLCs. Because on the American versions, you can't actually get the DLC in store where you need like the. Uh, the premium version or whatever. Because without the DLC items you can't do IMG. So North Americans are a bit... Uh, well, they can still buy the European version if they really wanted to, right? Oh, that's what I did to my Wii. 
Sounds amazing. Oh, that sucks. I will actually, after this run, probably play some more uh, Zelda Ocarina of Times. Ocarina of Time. Spot attack away, kids new game plus time. Because I got destroyed in any percent so I need to destroy the colossal. No. Oh jeez. Okay, I saved that one because usually <laughs> Oh shit, that was cool. <laughs> usually uh Bastran does the blasts there, so you have to delay it more. But just now I had to like adjust on the go and that worked beautifully. That was actually a very very cool bass around. <laughs> Look at the goddamn time saves. I like how my heart rate even goes up for the skips when it's new game plus just because of the intensity of it. <clears throat> okay, dirge is actually challenging because you gotta hit it with the thing. But Celosia will be fun. I will use the bomb arrows, it will be so cool, I will light the stick before Solos even spawns and then I will just run down the thing and don't give a shit. Just jump down and trigger everything, that should work amazingly. And if it doesn't, oh well, that would suck, I guess. Ah, uh, maybe I should take it more. Nah, nah, I'll do it the way I wanna do it. It's just way too cool to not do. Oh, but I could actually <laughs> run. Don't threaten the chicken hammer, that's inappropriate. So what kind of time would I actually have to get for a 57 IGT? Let's ask the real questions here. If a 126 is about an hour flat, I would need a 123, which I'm on pace to do right now. No. It doesn't, even any percent it doesn't. But you can kill yourself off if you jump in certain points of the uh, like Celosia area, which is very useful for the coin percent run. For the no IMG one at least. Since you can that since you can like uh, warp back to doing Argus after skipping him. Not quite true, but excuse me, why are you threatening the streamer? I should ban you all. I have the power of the gods on my side. <laughs> Just threaten each other, please. Not me. Mm. 
Nee, so gar nicht gerade, sorry. Ich hätte Bock auf äh, Among Us, wenn ihr das irgendwann mal wieder spielt. Okay, let's see. Sag mir einfach Bescheid über das Wochenende. Vielleicht kann Reiki dann auch mitmachen. Eventuell. Ich das ja nicht mehr bereit. Oder so ein Lust. Oh, schon. That was a very good dirge. Holy shit. I con I'm considering keeping Vesalosia safe. Because this run is on a roll right now, actually. No, I'm not talking about jumping down the arena, that one is easy. I'm talking about... Uh, basically, I will use a bomb arrow to get the like torch and light it before Slosia spawns but uh, the thing there is that I could also just run past Slosia with a burning torch and jump down like I did in the other run what's it called the, in the coin run so that way Slosia just jumps down the cliff before anything even started. But I think I will keep it safer. Not going for it is quite weird champ. You're right, but also this run is actually potentially right to face. It feels like it at least. That was a hella sick dirge. And the bass run was amazing as well. We'll see. I'll do whatever I feel like in the moment. Okay, you know, fuck it, I'll do it. Fine, let's go all out on the memes. If it fails, it's good for the memes, yeah. You're a bad influence, stock. If you fail and that run doesn't wreck you, it's absolutely your fault. And that will forever haunt you. No, I don't care, it's fine, it's a new category. And it should be fine. Usually if you don't get the first try, you can still like put down the torch and grab it again and it's fine. It's just like one of those things that can technically cost you the whole thing. People dying outside. People say my mic picks up very well on everything that's going on outside my ha uh, apartment. And there's a lot of things that are going on there all the time. <laughs> House in Europe. Well, it's possible if you like close to retirement and worked all your life in a decently paying job. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to some countryside as thing. I'm not even sure if I ever want a house or if I need one. An apartment seems enough, but let's see. Okay, I'll do it stocky. 
but just because you were a bad influence on me. But I think it's actually very safe. Look here, everyone. Stocky ruined it. <laughs> I didn't expect it to not work, but it's completely my own fault. Honestly, with the way Celosia looks at you when you go there, I think that actually cost the Reggie. I think it actually did, not gonna lie. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I don't know. I will never do that again. It's not slower if you look at the way it worked out in my, like, coin run. Because of the way Solosia looks at you. And it's just instant. It's like that one time Udavara did it. But yeah, I shouldn't have gone for it, but Stocky made me. Stocky is at fault. I mean, honestly, if this still even gets close to Rekia, I can brag about how Foxy almost lost to this run. <laughs> what up, Sean? Blame Stalky for the time loss. He wanted me to go for a fancy thing. <laughs> Honestly, the rest of the run is so lit, though. Yeah, I know, Foxy, I'm memeing. <laughs> yeah, Stocky made Malice uh, uh, soft lock me, honestly. I probably won't. The new game plus strike is a bit too easy to allow. Wow, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, the, the new game plus strike is a bit too easy to do too many fails. But yeah, Hammer, I shouldn't have gone for it. But it's faster if it works. If you look at my no New Game Plus No IMG run. Which it didn't this time, I guess. So it was completely unnecessary and stupid. I know it does, right? Hey, Aiden. Do it like me and make a run out of it. <clears throat> because my coin percent run is actually trash. I think this Losia strat was the whole highlight of it. It wasn't Wacky's fault. Don't blame Wacky. Wacky knows the direction to the coins better than I do. She could actually do a better coin percent run if she wanted to. Yeah! Stalky, that's how it works. Yeah. 
Yeah. Do it. Okay, I will actually try the foxy thing, where you wait a second before doing everything. Maybe I can get Lyle set up that way. But I gotta switch to the normal bow. I haven't started properly learning the run yet either, so don't worry, Starkey. I think I will actually start. Will start tomorrow, though. Oh, I forgot to wait. I forgot. That's what usually happens to me when I even try to go for like this strat. I would usually. Do. <laughs> what the hell am I even doing? What's wrong with me? I'm so garbage. I'm absolutely trash at this game and they deserve every time that I ever gotten. Oh my god. And the soft lock was just a sign of god that I should stop playing this game. Utter trash. Holy shit. It's still your fault, though, Starkey. At least Kalagi and Yuki Plus is so satisfying. You know, it was because I literally jumped against the goddamn teeth like an idiot. <coughs> I actually have a like problem with my throat as well, so maybe I'm dying as well. But usually they say the coughing has to be like dry for it to be COVID, so it's probably fine. How am I still gaining time with this trash? Does that show that I'm actually getting better at the game? Isn't this a symptom of Rona? Where anything can be a symptom for Rona? It's weird, like, if you look up symptoms for Rona, besides the obvious ones, if you go through the list, it's literally like every other disease that would ever show signs like that. Nicht so, nee, eigentlich gar nicht. Und eigentlich habe ich das schon Tim gesagt, ne? Also keine Ahnung, warum ihr nochmal nachfragt. Oh 
on now. So the thing about Phalanx is it's actually slower in New Game Plus than it is in any percent, almost. Because of the way you can't like understab it, so you just have to go with the flow and kill it before it, the rolls start being annoying. You can't actually skip the barrel roll. Foxy. Excuse me. this whole setup. And I hate that I'm getting a call now which I absolutely can't attempt to. Okay, that was something new. I'll take that I guess. If you're fast enough you can get Oopsie, on this that. You basically cancel one of the barrel rolls. And the second one isn't that much of an issue. That way. Am I still going the right way? I mean, Dr. Pepper isn't as rare as some other things though, like root beer is very rare and cream soda is basically non-existent. Dr. Pepper is easy enough to find here in Germany, but it's on the rare side as well, obviously. It's like one of those tastes where you have to get used to it. My mom still claims it tastes like medicine. Yeah, kind of, but it tastes better. It's funny how I'm gaining like 40 seconds every Gotham split. Absolutely amazing. That's that one thing though. Interestingly enough, I've never been to France, even though my mom has been there like many, many times. Because I always end up either being sick or have other commitments where I can't go with them. So besides the US, I never have been more west than Cologne, Germany. Which is kind of sad, honestly. It's fine, Foxy, even though I think the American ones are better. But you can also find the American brands if you search hard enough. God. People keep 
keep calling. Und sie dann CSGO geht nein. Yeah, exactly, a surprise. Here in Germany, though, usually the grocery stores are on the smaller side. Like, there's only a few of the big ones, and even those are usually smaller than, like, the usual American store. Yeah, keine Ahnung, weil vorhin noch jemand anders vorbeigekommen ist und gefragt hat. Dachte ich mir auch. Du bist doch immer der, der die Armee hierher schickt, um mich dann 20 Mal zu fragen. Like, the only grocery stores I've ever found for easy is in is actually near where Kerrigan lives. I've never found a grocery store here in Bavaria. That has the Reese's. They had like fake. They have like fake Reese's here that taste like garbage. Ach, das ist eine Meme-Kategorie. Das ist nicht so krass. Ich habe schon eine Minute verloren. Damn, that sounds amazing. Yeah, important stuff costs a lot. Funnily enough, all the imported stuff you can get rather cheaply is on the Czech border here. They have like a whole economy where they sell all kinds of soda and all kinds of other imported stuff on the Czech-German border. Right now it's closed up due to Corona, I think. But there you can get all kinds of cheap imported stuff. But yeah, the America thing is also funny because any kind of, like, even somewhat American product has an American flag on it here in Germany. I don't know, I like American products though. I really enjoyed my stay in the US because all of all the sugary fast foody unhealthy stuff. Russia is actually the opposite of that. Many Russian things are actually rather healthy. Person. I've showed like wacky a recipe that she likes a lot and that's all. The fact that guns are a thing at all is what gets the Europeans boxing. <laughs> it's not about how common they are, it's just a weird feeling. But yeah, I haven't encountered anything, even though people have gave, gave me flag for not going to a shooting range when I was in the US, which I don't know, just doesn't appear to me as much. So I could definitely go to one if I wanted to next time.
it's so goddamn rare, Foxy. It's like you have to get so much paperwork to even own one for hunting. From what I've heard, it's not common at all. I've never shot a gun in my life. I've never even held a real gun in my hands in my life. I know Wacky's father owns a decent amount of guns because he goes hunting, but I don't think I saw them. I guess they were locked away, but I didn't care enough. I imagine like uh, paintball is actually probably very very cool. A laser attack. A paintball. I've never tried paintball, but it it's got to be even cooler. Honestly, considering that I messed up, like, Celosia so badly, this could still be Recky Pace. Like, it says best possible time 123.32. That's basically record, I think. More or less. Well, so I can look at it this way, what would have happened with the run if I didn't lose a minute on Celosia for no reason? But it's fine though. I think Foxy didn't make the cliff jump, which also loses a fair share of time. <coughs> I wonder what like the actual like peak performance the game plus run would be like. I think you can definitely get a sub 120 in like uh, you know with a pro or a PS5 or whatever. But a 123 would equal to a 120 30. I mean, it's not like you can change America's gun culture. It's way too late for that. Regulation and stuff would take years to actually show any result. Foxy was a Florida man for at least a couple months, right? <laughs> the plan the next time I get to America with Wacky and I is a road trip for Texas. Surely we can like go to some kind of shooting range just to get the freedom pictures, you know? I don't know, I would feel weird to enter a place like that though, considering there is actual people with actual guns. Oh, I will definitely buy the cowboy hat and be the most obnoxious tourist you can be. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, this run, besides the slow here, which could have been easily avoided, is going absolutely amazingly. Many of the colossi there are absolutely like peak performance. I saw like one of those documentaries with the way people go around like <clears throat> certain laws where I think it was about some kind of automatic rifle ban in some state or whatever where they just made rifles that can go as fast as automatic but have some kind of mechanism that technically makes them not automatic weird shit like that It's basically like hey far. And I guess that's the whole issue. People will find a way around laws. But honestly, the pace right now is like a 123 something. And it could have been a 122 something, which would definitely be Reiki. I'm very interested in what this one is. What was like Aiden's uh, time, RTA wise, for the 59, so I get an idea. Maybe I'm overhyping it. I'm very. I'm probably overhyping it, but it's been a good run. One twenty-four. Uh, I guess it won't be a fifty-seven then. The uh, slow state would have definitely been a fifty-seven. It's definitely an improvement considering my trash garbage as run before that. Oh, let me just get soft up again. I I'd enjoy that a lot. You know it. At this point, I wouldn't even be mad, but impressed. I mean, I've practiced Malice before starting even the first any percent run of the day, and it went like garbage. So... Right! Invisibility cloak! Holy shit, I don't- I can't actually lose! Dude! I totally forgot! It's a freebie in this category. Thank god I remembered. Well then this run is at least, like, free, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was so focused on all the other stuff, I totally forgot. If not for the Solosia, this run would have been absolute amazing stuff. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? I'm so confused with everything I'm doing right now. I'm not even noticing the run is happening, honestly. Cloak of fuck malice, yeah. Basically that. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll just make this uh, an easy malice and be done with it. Also, if you're on the bow here, I think Wander still switches to his sword after the cutscene. Yeah, see, he has a sword again. That's ridiculous. The cloak of deception. I should rename myself to Deception. When I, if ESA race happens, just to make it the worst joke ever. It definitely shows quite some nice attempt shown to detail. Fuck off, Malice, I don't give a shit. You can't hurt me. Woo! Wasn't that great? I did the IELTS cap all by myself. I'm so proud. Meanwhile, my first name is like, whenever people find out about my name, they're like, oh, you're Russian? I'm like, yeah. 
Is that a 12305? Excuse me. Without that Celosia Thanos, it would have been wrecky by a mile. Wouldn't it have been? Three oh seven. Let me see something. I can definitely improve on that. One twenty one forty. No, no. I only lost like fifty seconds on slow, so it would have been a one twenty two something, which definitely would be ranky. But I think this still can be. I mean, it's not optimized enough where it is that difficult. I mean, probably not, honestly. One and a half minutes fifty eight. It's probably a 58 something. One twenty twenty five minus four. Difficult to say. Thanks, Aiden, and thanks everyone else as well. No, but if we go off Aiden's time, I'm one and a half minutes faster, so it's like maybe a high 57. Which, with a good solos, yeah, it would have been wrecky, yeah. Let me actually see about Falcon once. I've had like all gold splits for the most part. Oh yeah, wait, the barber is a thing as well. With 30 seconds I get extra there compared to my PB. If we compare it like that, it would be like 5 minutes ahead. Yeah, 158 something. Uh, 58 something. Yeah, I, did, I forgot about Pelagia, but that one too. Yeah, it just shows how much better I've gotten at the game, I guess. Phalanx wasn't the best thing ever, either. It's probably a, a 58, which is fine. Better than Sean. Alright. <laughs> I can try again here and there, but I wouldn't want to go all out in this category. 
I'm just happy it's not as trash anymore compared to like all my other ones. Oh yeah, this run sucks. The video is great and all my runs suck and will always suck no matter what. Because Sean will always be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's like... Well, if I want to grow like a thicker beard, I would have to grow it out quite a bit, and I don't think I can quite do that right now. So yeah, after I get Vajit here, I'll probably play some Ocarina of Time. No, I'm just gonna play it casually and be garbage at it. <clears throat> I think not everyone knows actually, but uh, Wacky and I, when I was in America, also made a vlog for all the fast food we ate. I think I should uh, post it again somewhere. Funniest thing ever, Nomad commented on it. He didn't comment on most of, or any, I think once he commented on one of my videos, but he never commented on anything else, Shadow of the Colossus related. But uh, Wacky once posted in his server, and of all, of all the things he would comment on, he commented on the fast food vlog. <laughs> That's my appreciation and I get from no man. <laughs> Your shadow videos are shit. <laughs> but hey, that fast food well. <laughs> Probably never. I don't know. Uh, Nomad feels like the type of guy that wouldn't enjoy that kind of stuff. I mean, the thing that would actually make me feel most accomplished, community-wise, would be if I got somehow, if I somehow made Stormglad involved in the Discord. Like, I tried to contact him for big race, but uh, yeah, I guess he's kind of not playing Shadow right now at all. Well, that's something, yeah.
That sounds like we're live. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like a better kind of setting for that kind of stuff because you know there won't be any insane people who will all of a sudden just start shooting randomly or not take precautions. Oh, I guess in shooting ranges they probably account for that. But I've seen like those weird videos where people are just being stupid aiming the gun somewhere else besides the target. Oh, I see. I, I thought they, uh, most of them were like indoor ones, but I guess that's like more like uh, the ones where you try to shoot professionally or whatever. I know it's like an Olympic discipline. I know Brand New went to one when he was in America. I should probably ask what that one was like. Oh, well, that's fair. That's how it should be. I guess in like those uh, stupid compilation videos, they just show the most and show the most insane idiots. Okay, that's good. I mean, honestly, I could probably just ask Wacky's dad. He's like very serious into hunting, and like, since he was in the military, also knows how to handle guns, I guess. Oh, yeah, those are the best ones. Gotta protect your land. Oh yeah, right, actually... Wasn't it the guy from Tiger King who killed himself from bad gun handling? That one was fucked up. Okay, let's see about the IGT. 123 is actually better than I expected to run to go today. It's had some very good moments and I guess I'll improve on the slow C at some point later. But that was a very good standard run. Just shows that I'm getting better at all of this. No real major mistakes besides the slow C, which was more of like trying to show off than actually a mistake. I guess I expect a 58 something. 
Oh, actually, didn't I calculate that a 59 would be, well, a flat 59 would be 26? I don't know. It's difficult to predict. Fifty-eight, thirty-three. So I guess it wouldn't have been right even for great Celosi either. Ah, actually, I could have saved more time on Celosi, so it probably would have. Still decent. Beats Sean. Woo. Um. Okay, let me save for recording for that one.